Ever been bullied in your life at a point in time? Most people have. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. As what I just said, you could probably already figure out what I'm going to be talking about today. But just kind of as a quick backstory to this, I was over on the D9 Danny Wilson um, Discord uh, earlier on. It was actually yesterday as of this recording. It's actually 2 in the morning and I'm talking about this. Um, the video that I posted as of this upload, two hours prior to this upload, um, was something that kind of just happened last minute and it wasn't planned out at all. I wasn't planning on making it, but I felt it kind of necessary because I was a bit surprised. If you want to check that out, um, I'll have a link to the playlist that it is part of at the end of this video. But either way, it's progressive risk. Um, when I went onto the Discord, there, the, his, Danny's particular Discord has a help and advice section, which I find very, very useful, especially with the kind of mindset I have when it comes to wanting to help other people. Um, one person who will not be named in this video um, came for advice due to the fact that they had been dealing with a group of bullies. They claimed it was like 40, which is crazy, but that's... It, ever since that point in time, um, my mind has been boggling about this whole thing, and I can't get it off my mind that this is just happening way too often nowadays, and it's been getting worse over time. The main thing that came to my mind while all this was going on was what to do what should I do like that phrase not what should I specifically do but the phrase itself honestly it's there are several circumstances where you should just go to the police for these fronts but there are some aspects in it where you'll need more than just officers to take care of this kind of thing. Sometimes they won't even listen, and then you'll be stuck. But it still doesn't happen very often, but there is the rare chance that sometimes it will. In which case, a lot of people will either lose their top or others will lo like, lose their sanity, go crazy over it, act in the same way that the bullies did, or there will be some people who will just won't be able to handle the stress and hurt themselves over it. I'm not going to go too deep because, I mean, we all, I'm sure we can all think of scenarios in the past that were on the news or something like that where someone has done worse because of the same front. But because of all this, it's, this is the reason I wanted to make this video. There's always someone out there who can help. And I've talked about this from before, where there's always someone who can help. Now, in my previous video that I did last week, uh, called My Thoughts on Helping Others, this ties in pretty well to that, I think. And the Good Samaritan Law was put up for purposes like this. Like, other people will not want the help, but the Good Samaritan would help anyway. And quite frankly... When it comes to situations like this, depending on the person they could, they may or may not ask for the help, but it's definitely needed. And, which is one of the reasons why I made this, I, for those who might be dealing with this kind of stuff, I implore you to go reach out to other people, other friends, family. There's always someone, in the seven billion people on this planet, there's always bound to be at least one person who is willing to help, whether they know you or not. I personally can definitely testify to this. My current girlfriend, um, 
I have gone to her before under the case of needing said type of help. And this, this was years ago. I don't know whether she can actually remember the event or not. But this is one of the things that made me original fa originally fall for her. Um, one of the few things. Was it the final nail in the coffin? I don't know. I can't remember. But it was definitely one of the hard hitters. I can definitely confirm that. But... No, yeah, it, it wasn't the final nail, but it was it was one of the things that put the nail in place that made it almost impossible to pull the nail out. Let's put it that way. Anyway, she was there for me when I needed it, under that front, and if she wasn't, let's just say I wouldn't be here right now. I'm... In my past, I have been one of the kind of people who would physically hurt themselves over s situations that stressed me out a bit too much. Because of that, I, I, I was a, I'm, I've been a very weak person in my past mentally, so I'm very, very grateful I had her as close a friend as she was and is to date even more so and there's always that person out there for anybody whether a girlfriend family member whoever it might be there's always that least that one person who will be willing to reach out and help it's one of the reasons why i'm making this video i couldn't do very more than much more than what i did for this particular person who is on the discord but I can try my best to give word of advice, word of ki words of kindness, whatever I can do to help you guys, anybody who might be struggling with this. Reach out if you need it. And I mean that the, and if you have anybody personal that you know, don't hesitate to reach out to them. I know it might be hard to talk about this kind of stuff, but would the end result really be worth it to not talk? Reach out. Now, I, I know, I know, I may be saying things that may seem like a duh to some people, but it's not. It's not, an, it's not as much of a no-brainer as a lot of people think. Those who don't have to deal with this kind of crap would think it's a no-brainer. But for those who have to deal with this kind of crap, this kind of bull, it's no one's going to think, reach out to someone, because they're so stressed and trying to take care of their own needs that they don't think, or even if they're trying to take care of somebody else at the same time, they never think, hey, I want to talk to somebody about this. And those who do gain the strength to do that, well... They end up getting the result they need. The encouragement. Which again, in last time, is why I implore those who have kept hidden about this kind of things, these kind of things, reach out to others. Anybody who you know who might be a close friend or a family member, someone you can talk to, reach out to them. I implore it. Now, with that said, I'm going to do a small little section talking about uh, the topic in general, um, the opposing side of it, I suppose you could say, the bullying. I'm going to talk about my thoughts on that, and then we'll end the ups. This little bit, this this video. I can't speak, but. As I said at the beginning of this video, bullying has been going on for way too long. There are honestly, of some, it's more been kind of a state thing, but there have been laws set out to kind of protect people from this kind of stuff, like cyberbullying. There are laws to protect people from that, and some places have laws to protect others from just generic bullying, but 
things have just been getting worse, and it saddens me to see this kind of thing. It's gotten to the point where so many places have gained shootings. Shootings. And, like, my, my girlfriend showed me a video of the past year, like the top five most viewed things, and literally all five of them had to either do with a missing person who ended up getting killed or a shooting of some kind. And I couldn't bear to watch the whole thing. I watched maybe four of the five and I I, I, can't, I can't stand to see something like that happen to so many people. It's painful to me. Now, I also know for a fact that generally when this kind of thing happens, it, the person who does like the attacking, whether it's verbal or physical, there's usually a mental reason behind it. And I can understand that, the mental reasoning, but it doesn't make it any better the actions that are being taken. Some people have psychosis, in which case they end up in a psych, like a, like an asylum or something like that, like an institute that they need to be in, if not an asylum. Others would have just like strong family problems or just mental problems in general, whether it's psychosis or not. Uh, but either way around, the, as I just recently said, that doesn't make it any better. And I, I just... <sighs> this is a tough topic. It, like, serious topics are so difficult for me to talk about sometimes. But one way or the other, I think it just all comes down to one thing. Reach out to anybody who needs it in this circumstance. And I said this within my last week's video as well, uh, with my thoughts on helping others. Reach out to those who need help. And now I'm talking to those who aren't being bullied. Reach out to the ones who are. Help them out. Report the ones who are being the bullies. Take care of them properly. Legally. And I say that because there are a lot of people out there who will take drastic measures that ruin their own lives. That's, that's an even worse sight to see, for my opinion. I've seen it happen so many times that... It's just upsetting. It's sad to see others ruin their lives because they are being the ones being bullied. They take drastic measures that end up screwing their life over for like a permanent stance that they could have gone down a different path and they chose that one. They become the bully, but worse. Anyway, I'm not gonna go too far mo longer on this tangent, but my final words on this is just like, I guess a good synopsis of what I have talked about in this video is just that I, I don't approve of all this. The bullying is not something I commend at all. I hate it. And for those who are getting bullied or know someone who's being bullied, seek help or help them, depending on the person, in a kindly manner. Be the Good Samaritan or talk to the ones who you know are the Good Samaritan towards you. With that said, I am going to leave this rant or discussion. I'll let you guys decide what it is here. Um, if you want to check out any other rants or discussions that I've done in the past, um, I'll have that over here on the left side. Um, if you want to check out any video game footage that I've done in the past, or I might be currently working on, depending on when you see this, that'll be on the right side over here. 
if you like dry humor, then I recommend checking it out because you might like it. Uh, if you agree with anything that I've said tonight, today, tonight, depending on when you're watching this, uh, and you want to hear more thoughts about more serious topics or more just generic discussions that I have, or want to, if you just like this overall, um, first of all, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. And secondly, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll have a lot more coming in the future, and we'll see where it goes from there. But in the meantime, I'm out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!